is a beautiful sunny day here. Oh, it feels so wonderful. It is literally blinding me, but I don't mind because it is much needed. And the best part is it's melting all the snow away. Yay! Um, today we are gonna be decorating the porch for spring. You can see currently it is decorated for Christmas. Yes, I know, that was a few months ago. So we are going to brighten it up and make it look beautiful and decorate it for springtime. Hopefully you'll get some ideas on ways you can decorate your porch and everything. If you do, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. All the links will be in the description box below this video. You can follow me on Instagram and my like to know it. I post them the daily for you and also my blog. So yeah, we have a lot to get to, so let's get started. All of the Christmas trees and wreaths all came from Walmart. I love their selection of Christmas trees for the porch and stuff, but time for them to go away. I am fully over winter. I was planning on using real plants for the front porch for some flowers, but they don't have any out at the store yet, so I'm gonna use some of my faux plants. This faux boxwood is beautiful, but I'm gonna save it for the back patio that I'm gonna work on this coming week. Got my beautiful rug from Amazon. It's well. Next up are these planters I got from Lowe's last year. Then I have these Italian cypresses from Amazon. I've had these for a few years and they have not faded at all. liners in them are from Walmart. Super cute. Thinking, I don't know. I like this size better. This one's too big. Remember this? I picked this up, I think two months ago now at Walmart. It's so cute. I was using it in my bathroom because it wasn't warm enough outside. And I'm gonna put my herbs and stuff on it and I'm so excited. So, oh, I bought two different sizes and I didn't even realize that. Huh. I bought the bigger bottoms and I guess I could have just done the smaller ones. Oh well, it's all right. I add my herbs out here yet because we are in the 40s and 50s and that's just a little bit cold for some herbs so um, it feels way warmer in the sun though which is I'm so happy about but I think I'm gonna go to the store and look for um, a couple flowers for the rest So 
something I really like to do is make different floral arrangements, but also wreaths. And so this is one I made last year. All I did was use two different um, florals. And then I used this greenery from Walmart that I snipped off. The hydrangeas are from Hobby Lobby. It's what I actually used in the entryway. And I just cut it down. And then I used and I stuffed it in. Kind of alternating it. Very, very simple. You just layer in your pieces. You can add more color if you want to. I'll do that eventually as the season goes on. And then the back of it, I just line. Um, I glue on some fabric. That way it doesn't scratch my door because it's a grapevine wreath. So if you can't find the item that you want at the store, make it. Or maybe you found an item at the store that you really like, but you feel like it needs a little extra jazz. Jazz it up, add your extra items. You can hot glue it in, or you can just um, cut the pieces and interweave them in. Super simple, but decorate your home the way you feel inside. If you want it to feel light and bright and airy, make it that way. I'm gonna introduce pops of color as the seasons go on, um, but you know, it's probably gonna be another month or so before we actually see some color in the plants that I have around the house. So I'm gonna wait to add a lot of that color in. I love to garden and that's one way that I get my colors in and everything is in my garden and it's just so peaceful. I love going out there. Sometimes I don't even cut my flowers because I just find so much joy in walking out there, sitting out there, watching all the bees and the pollinators come in, enjoy the flowers and just see all the life that it brings. It is so beautiful and peaceful. It's something I really enjoy. So all right, I feel like we need a sign because it just needs some extra life out here. It's feeling a little blah. And I have this one that says, and so our adventure begins. And I think this is so fitting for spring because it literally jump starts the season. We have so many fun things planned and adventures to go on. I think this is great, so. Love to sit out here and absorb the sun and just listen to the birds and everything. I think that looks good. I found this at Target outdoor section and the best part is it's zipper so you can wash it. Woohoo! But look at the texture on it. Isn't that pretty? And it's got the tassels and it's the perfect shade of green. I love this green. And it'll just make the bench that much cozier. So I found these cute little bunnies at a yard sale, but Walmart does have some in the outdoor section. So take a look there, but I thought they'd be a perfect addition for the spring porch and a little nod to Easter in there. I cannot wait to add some real flowers and my herbs out here. So for now, the spring porch is three fourths of the way done, but hopefully it's given you some ideas and ways you can spruce up your outdoor space. Now the next day and it started snowing and I was like, really? The snow just needs to go away. I am over winter at this point, but I found some beautiful spring art options. I will leave everything linked down below for you because they're all 50% off right now, which is wonderful. And they have so many different prints to choose from. This is just a few that I liked for spring that are more on the subtle side. I decided to go a little bold and add a big pop of color in here. And I like it, but I also like this print as well, which I probably will switch it out for here soon. But the thing I like about the place I get the art is that you can do digital download and print it out yourself, or you can have them print it out and have it framed. It's your choice. So really like that. I always share them usually in fall and Christmas time, but I just like the simple touches I did for our bedroom for spring, but now we're going to go outside and start working in the greenhouse.
the floor has expanded. Here we are in the greenhouse. A month or so ago, I actually took out a lot of the plants and stuff. I promise you, I'm in good shape. Just, yeah, not with the snow and gardening. Okay, the beds right here, I want to add, take out some of the soil that's in them because um, it's just not very good. It was supposed to be good, it ain't. So I wanna take out some of that and I'm gonna replace it with compost and then a raised bed mix that is really light and fluffy. And that's actually what I put in the greenhouse shed. And it grew so nicely in there. I added that actually to this plant here over here. Grew amazingly. This one is just too dense. I gotta close that vent. Um, it's windy outside. Snowing, sunny one minute, snowing the next. Wind blowing in and out. But yeah, um, I ended up getting, it's gonna drive me nuts. Last year I did not have a temperature gauge in here or anything because this back wall actually wasn't on. I added that right before winter so that all the snow wouldn't blow in here. But I picked this one up at Home Depot, just a basic one. And then after I was reading, they're like, you probably should have a temperature gauge and a humidity gauge. So I'm just gonna probably order another one, but this one can just attach to the wall. It's not very big. It's almost 60 degrees in here. And currently it says it's 42, but with the wind, it feels 38. So 38 to 60? I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. That's a big jump. So I'm, it's probably gonna warm up too as it sits in here and the sun's not even fully out yet. I'm gonna probably put a window back here on this area. And I don't know if I'll get to it in this video today, but I do wanna build shelves. Um, on this back area, like not shelves, shelves up top, one or two, and then I want to build tables, planting tables in the back here. I just don't know if I'll get to that today, but um, I want to get this hung up. I want to take care of the soil the best I can. I also need to build another bed for over here, taller beds. For one, it has more root uh, area for the roots, but I'm taller and it's just nice not to have to bend all the way down to the ground. So um, I need to build one of those as well. So. We'll see, I'm not sure how many cucumbers I'm gonna do this year. I'm gonna do tons of tomatoes in here, but the cucumbers that I pickled for pickles, um, I don't know, I'm kinda scared to try them. I know I need to, but I'm a little scared. Maybe we'll do that when I'm done in here and just see how they taste, because I am really nervous they're gonna be terrible. These cucumber cucumbers are gross tasting. I mean, they were awful. And I'm like, maybe I just, I don't, I had them in a bed with some peppers and stuff and it was just irregular watering on my end. So that didn't help. I know they need even watering. So that was a mistake on mine. So I'm hoping that, um, I'm probably just gonna do peppers and tomatoes in here, but I can't start those yet. I do have some seedlings going, but I wanna do like spinach and colder crops in here for right now um, until I add everything else in, so. Got a lot of plants in here. And then I also want to, down the middle here, put um, some raised um, just containers in and put flowers. I had flowers in mixed with everything, but I'd rather just have a row of flowers. I think that'd be just beautiful. And then I open the door and I'm just greeted with all the color. Oh, love that idea. So. wheelbarrow in here and then shove all the dirt in it that I don't want but I can't make it very far in the snow with the wheelbarrow so I think I'm just gonna look for some of my containers and fill those up and then move them at a later point
to be, let it be too fussy because I just enjoy gardening, so I don't want it to be annoying or anything too much. But last year, between using the raised bed mix and the compost in my other beds, my plants did phenomenally better. So um, it just goes to show, like sometimes getting a pre-made mix um, from a garden center or something isn't the best idea. I've been doing it for a couple years and I just haven't been happy with it. So I'm going to the alternative and just getting the bags. This costs a little bit more doing it way better um, doing it that way. I added a little bit of a starter fertilizer when I plant my stuff. I'm not earthworm castings. And I do have a little bit more room here to add more soil. So I will do that just I might wait for the snow to melt because it is a workout trying to get it through the snow. And your life is to find